Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me for this week's reading. I'm working with the Psychic Tarot and then I'll draw one card from the Angel's Abundance Oracle, all right? So as always, these readings are general readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. So let's get right into it. What does Spirit want to bring forward for this week? more like four cards we already have two here okay three and one more please okay all right so we have our four cards here okay we get right into it we start with tri the triumph card this is a major arcana this is the chariot in a traditional tarot now, what I'm sensing with this card is regardless of whatever is going around you, you're charged, you're charged, you're focused, you're moving ahead, okay? The seven, the number seven to me is a very spiritual number. So you're focused on your life purpose, okay? And it's almost like, it's almost like you, you know what you have to do. You know what you want to achieve for yourself. And I feel this, this passion, this rush, this, you know, this new surge of energy in you to reach forward. For some of you guys, you guys will be traveling. This can also be for a card of relocation, but I feel, I feel more so than anything. It's like whatever was holding you back, like you're not allowing those energies to hold you back. You're very focused. You're very charged ahead and I feel a lot of solar plexus energy as well as sacral chakra, okay? And you're you're like, you're going for it. That's the kind of energy and the word triumph is like, whatever you're wanting to do, you will be successful in it. You will achieve it. So go the extra mile is what I'm getting with this card. Now, the second card we have is intuition. This is the high priestess, okay? So... What I'm getting with this as well as the Triumph card is you you need to tap into your intuition, okay? And more than that, like you're I feel like you're already tapping into your intuition. You're receiving signs, you're receiving guidance from your guides and angels, and they're they want to open this new doorway for you, okay? They want you to open this new doorway and walk through it. That's what I'm getting with these two cards. And they want you to trust yourself. That's what I'm getting is trust yourself. Like you, you know the truth about whatever this is. Now the number two for me, it's also about, you know, if you're at a crossroads and you have to make a decision, you know what the truth is. You know, you know, um, like, in your heart what decision is the right decision for you so this card is just saying don't doubt yourself don't second guess yourself trust yourself and go with it you are this high priestess you know you are tapping into this intuition you need to trust yourself and you need to go ahead with it okay so that's what i'm getting now in interestingly we have suffering in silence this is the this is the nine of swords so you are you know in some areas of your life you feel you feel stuck you may be in your head i feel like i feel like this is something that you're struggling by yourself maybe people don't know about it it's something that you find challenging and you feel like you're cornered out or you feel there is no hope and that's the kind of feeling i'm getting with this but nine is again uh, uh, almost like it's closing out a cycle you're closing out a cycle on something but whatever it is you want to achieve you have to you will have to face your demons is what i'm getting you will have to face your fears you will have to uh you know get over some things and this is again like a mental trapping you feel you feel trapped in some area you feel like there is no hope yeah i'm just repeating what, what i just said but that's the feeling that i'm getting with this card and let me see, let, let me go through all the cards and let me see what else I'm getting. And lastly, once again, number nine, spiritual strength. So yeah, definitely you're closing out a cycle with these two cards. And this card is just reassuring that whatever it is you're 
finding challenging, whatever it is that is testing you right now, you have the strength to overcome it. You may feel like I, I'm not capable of doing it, but you are more than capable. Once again, in this picture, you know, there's this third eye, which I'm drawn to. And this is again, the intuition, you know, you, you know the truth in your heart. If this is about a decision, okay, I'm also getting if this is about a relationship decision and you're deciding what to do, I feel like the truth is right in front of your eyes. You know the truth, you can see the truth and you need to trust that and not keep yourself in a situation like this. You know, you don't need to suffer. You need to, you deserve better. You need happiness. So charge ahead with your happiness, charge ahead with your goals. And whatever it is that is testing you, you definitely have the strength to overcome it, okay? And if this is something that you are going by yourself, a challenge or a situation that you're dealing by yourself, still your intuition is very strong with these two cards, you know? You really know the truth. You really know what you have to overcome. It's not like you need to seek any external source for answers. You already know what the answers are you already know the truth and these cards are just saying trust that okay whatever this is you will overcome it this is a number nine you're at the end of the cycle okay you don't have to suffer you need to move forward with these two cards i need, i feel like you need to take your you know your life in your own hands you need to be in the driver's seat of your life and so far if you have been in situations where you have given your power away these cards are just saying you have everything within you. You have everything, the strength, the vision, the focus, the willpower, the determination, everything to achieve anything you want in your life. And you're you're so clear, you're so focused, and you do you don't need to suffer in this nine of swords, you know, energy. You just don't need to be here. And I pull one card from the Angels of Abundance. What messages does Spirit want to bring forward? Okay, this one's coming forward. Savings. It says, as you consciously save for your future, your future is saved. You, you do your future self a big favor as you constantly set aside present funds. This is part of your self-care and path, and path to feeling secure as you focus upon your life purpose, okay? So what I'm getting for some, this could be money that you need to save and set aside. But what I'm getting is you need to take care of yourself that's what i'm getting you need to you know if you're extending your energy outside to other things other people this card is just saying you need to take care of yourself just like you've been doing for others okay self-care yeah that's what i'm getting and focus on your life purpose and focus on your life path okay so this this could be a week where you you feel challenged in some areas okay you feel challenged your thoughts are your thoughts are going in directions where they leave you feeling drained or there are certain situations or there could be certain people or situations that you feel challenged it could also be money matters with this card but overall when i look at the cards i feel you have more power than you realize you are stronger than you realize and you can overcome anything you can overcome okay even if it's a money situation you are at the end of the cycle with this you're at the end of the cycle and if this is people that are challenging you you have the power to close the door this this figure it's like you know you can bear this you can overcome whatever it is that is triggering you right now and i feel with these cards, I feel there could be triggers, money triggers, family triggers, uh, you know, really toxic relationships, whatever it is. These these two cards are giving me a lot of hope. This, these two are major arcanas, okay? So this is saying that you will move forward because you know the truth inside your heart. And you don't need to doubt yourself. You don't need to give your power away. And you need, don't need to second guess yourself. And you don't need to be in situations that make you feel less than and if you are thinking about you know not having enough money just keep focus because this is a balanced universe trust that the universe you know this is a fair balanced universe and trust that you know everything you attract to yourself by what you believe and what you think okay so this could be just the card telling you to ch watch your thoughts and don't get into negative patterns okay i hope you guys have enjoyed this reading Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week.